Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Random Gear channel. And today we're going to be talking about the top 5 EDC flipper knives under 100 bucks. Now that's pretty cheap. It's uh, not that expensive to get a good knife. Now the first knife we have up is the Buck Knife's Vantage Pro. Now it's a folding knife with a clip. It's a really sharp blade. It uh, has a safe and secure grip. It's a great everyday carrier EDC. It's made in the USA and has a forever warranty. Now coming in at number two, one of my favorite, the Columbia River Knife Icoma Fossil Razor or Edge Pocket Knife. It's uh, only about $40 on Amazon. It's, uh, it features some IKBS ball bearings. It has an opening flipper for silky smooth blade deployment. Um, it's made of complete stainless steel with G10 scales. It's pretty nice looking. Look at those scales. Uh, great grip on this wad, on this uh, knife here. And uh, yeah, it's a great buy for uh, you know the price point you're getting. It's definitely very good quality there, and something hard to find. It's a, a little bit of style incorporated into this knife here. A great EDC item. Now coming up next at number three is the Kershaw 1660 Ken Onion Leak. This knife's extremely popular, and it's popular for a reason. It's only thirty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents on Amazon. Now this watch is the ideal EDC knife, it has a 3 inch blade, it's a good size but it's not too big, it has a nice slim design, it's easy to carry, it has a razor sharp blade and um, you know there's a nice action to it, it's very smooth, the finishing on it is very good, the, um, the screws that hold it in are allen keys, you can take it apart if you want, it's a very sharp knife, I do advise you to be careful and it's a very nice looking knife. Um, definitely very sleek. Uh, definitely a great buy for $37. I don't think you're going to find any other knife that's as sleek and clean as this knife with the finishing and the sharp blade. Um, it's really a great deal. Now coming in at number 4, only at $43, is the Kershaw, uh, made by Kershaw Knives, is the Creo 2 Assisted Opening Frame Lock Knife. Uh, this one's $43 on Amazon, really cheap. Uh, it's actually made in China, might be a downside for you, but China does make some good stuff also. It has a, a 4 and 3 8 inch closed frame lock. It's 3 and 3 8 inch uh, stainless steel blade. Has dual thumb studs. Has a thumb ramp and extended tang. It features a speed safe uh, torsion uh, bar mechanism for assisted opening. It has stainless steel handles. A nice bead blast finish which is done very well if you take a closer look. It also has a lanyard hole at the end of the knife if you want to throw something in there to hang it. Um, yeah, great. It's designed by a man named Rick Hinderer, and uh, it's a great looking knife. Um, you know, $43, I don't think you can beat it. Now, last but not least is the Zero Tolerance 0350 BW Black Wash Folder Knife. Now, some people might not like the black wash a finish on it, on the blade itself, but, you know, you got to try different things out. Now, this watch is $10 over my $100, so do excuse me on this one, but I think it's a great knife. Um, the black wash finish is definitely gives the blade a well-worn look, like a you know something that's been through battle or a war. If you like that kind of stuff, um, now the main reason for this finish is, first of all, it helps hide hard use scratches and it also reduces friction. Now the ZT 0350 BW blade is S30V stainless steel with non-reflective tungsten DLC, and uh, yeah, it's some really good stuff. Also, we do have some textured black G10 scales for a secure grip and excellent mechanical strength, even under you know, the toughest conditions out there in the wild. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my top five EDC knives under $100. You can find all the links for these um, knives in the description below if you're interested in picking up one of these knives. They're very affordable, tough, and they're gonna last you a long time. Definitely hit that subscribe button. More videos coming soon and on the way. And thank you guys for watching.